do not seek wealth at the cost of losing our relationship with god the idea of following and unfollowing is prevalent in our social life today we follow celebrities or various ideas in social media which are of our liking and our interest when we realize that they no more fascinate us we unfollow them the idea of following a teacher to become a learner or to become another teacher was a common practice since ancient days that's why there were various schools of thought even before christ such as aristotelians or platonists in today's gospel we see an invitation to follow christ but this invitation is different from the idea of following someone on social media it is a lifelong commitment jesus foretells his death and resurrection only after this he calls the multitude with his disciples saying if any man would come after me let him deny himself take up his cross and follow me then jesus tells a paradox whoever would save his life will lose it and whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel will save it none of us wants to die but we know that all of us will die one day so when we live for christ and for his gospel even though we die we will live with him for eternity most of us work for our livelihood but will anyone work continually for 40 or 50 hours even if someone offers to pay you a large sum of money no we won't because the purpose of money is to lead a good healthy life and at the cost of losing one's health one won't work similarly jesus asks what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his life it doesn't mean that followers of christ should not work or earn anything at all for their sustenance hence becoming rich by one's hard work is not wrong but do not seek wealth at the cost of losing our relationship with god dear brothers and sisters jesus does not compel us to follow him he invites us and we are free to accept his invitation or to reject it in the gospel of mark after this invitation follows the transfiguration of christ this means that he reveals himself as the long awaited messiah to all those who accepted him today as we listen to his invitation to follow him let us keep aside our selfishness our personal interests as i said earlier jesus expects a lifelong commitment but none of us are free to follow him without any obstacles we all have our failures sinfulness weaknesses other commitments and so on however let's take up these crosses of ours and follow him so that his spirit may guide us through the right path amen